Okay, so um, I'm just about to get on the road and head towards Trevnant, and uh, that's the craft and artisan fair at Trevnant Village Hall. So we'll see you there. Okay, so I've arrived here at the Trevnant uh, Village Hall, and uh, that's what you see just behind me. And I'll be going in now to see what this event's all about. All right. And these, uh, there's no charge to enter this event. What's this all about? Jams, marmalades and treats. And you make all these yourself? I make them all myself. There's my food hygiene routine. Oh, super. And you're justifiably proud of that, I can I see. Yeah. yeah. And your name is, ma'am? It's uh, Jens and I'm from the uh, Jam Ladies, which is just outside, Gr and Gronan, just outside Prestatin. In Gronan, yeah. Yeah, Gronan. Okay. That's lovely. They're very well presented, I must say. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. All the local 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 well, this little stall's caught my eye straight away. It's called Conkers Bonkers, right? Yeah. They're Conkers and Bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And you craft all these yourself, yeah? All handmade by me. Oh, they're lovely. Made the main, nothing but an accent, though. Gypsy flowers, what have you got here? Yeah. Yeah, a bit of hazel, freshly bit this morning. I had to knock the squirrel off the twig this morning. Yeah. And a very sharp knife, you've got to be very careful, cut towards yourself. You do what the Romy gypsies used to do, and that's make flowers from basically nothing and sell them as good luck. I give them away as good luck. In, um, in the army, we used to start a fire by... Yeah. Um, feather in a stick like that. Especially silver birds are bringing the bark, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Belter, yeah. There you go. It's, um, it's a massive, that's your massive one. There you go. Big one. That's lovely. He just made that flower and gave it to the little girl next to me. I don't generally film children. <laughs> Oh. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Thanks for your time and your skill, sir. Cheers. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. This one is called Tras Trasmundi Glass. I think that's coming into focus now. There you go. Trasmundi Glass. And they, she does lovely handmade glass objects and look at these lanterns check these out aren't they nice and some interesting little ornaments robots those robots are really cool check those out check those out and cats and it, it's all made by yourself. All made by this lovely lady. And your name is? Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Thanks for your time. Oh, I know some little friends of mine that would be interested in pom-poms. <laughs> the pom-poms. Is that a band? This is a band. That's lovely. They look like real rock as they do. This is all your own work. Do you have a card or anything? We don't. This is our first pair. Is it your yeah. first? Yeah. Oh, well, well done. Um, you, are you called the Pom Poms? No, we're called... Where is it? KL Crafts. KL... 
KO. KO Crafts. Have you got um, a YouTube or um, Facebook Facebook page? Yeah. What's it called? KO Crafts. K KO Crafts, just yeah. like that. K K hyphen O Crafts. Yeah. So that's the Facebook page you're looking for, boys and girls. Yeah. And they make all this lovely stuff. Look at that. Fabulous. Oh well, good luck to you on it. There you are, chickens going cheap. <laughs> hey there. What's this enterprise called? You just do, you just come and do, do you? The Trevnant. Lovely. All sorts of nice stuff, all handcrafted, and these are these are, are Welsh lady dolls, aren't they? In, in traditional Welsh national dress with a high hat on, the proper Welsh lady high hat. There you go. That's a bit of proper Wales right there. How about that? Lovely. This is Milmo. What, what, what? Milmo wood. Milmo wood and. Um, you craft all this yourself, yeah? I have. Excellent. Oh, just check this out, boys and girls. You'll recognise that face. How good is that? That's pretty good, that is. Oh, keeping it Welsh, look, the Mannix. And there's some guy called Elvis Presley, never heard of him. <laughs> he says jokingly, look at that. Dragon, dragon key rings all in wood. Maps, key rings, wooden images of the outline of this great country. Oh, in Welsh oak. In Welsh oak as well. Trink oh, look at this trinket box. How cool is that? And that one. And oh, that's awesome. Oh, sh quiet please, boys and girls. This is a fairy house. Don't want to wake the fairies. Wonderful work. Do you have a card, sir? You do, don't you? Do. May I take one? Of course you may. Take a couple. So that's Milmo... Milmo Wood it is. Milmo Wood. And there's also Milmo Crafts as well, which is my wife. Oh, excellent. So that's all on the soundtrack. That's good. I'll take one of those, if I may. Okay, coming through into another section. Wow, now that is a bird table. Check that out. Solid bottom. Slate roof. I think that's a bird mansion, that is. Beautiful slate roof. It's proper Welsh. Even dog, doggies and cats have catered for here. Look, doggy bowls. Lovely work. This is all your, all your yeah, work? Yeah. Fabulous stuff. You have a business card. This is called Vale Crafts, this one. And there's his card. Let's do a quick... Oh, and another one. Can I take that? Yeah, Both sure. those. Sure. Lovely work. Very nicely finished, too. Look at these bird boxes. They're fabulous. Well, we came to see crafts, boys and girls, and that's exactly what we're finding here. And, oh, nice, house signs made to order. Lovely stuff. Another bird mansion. Impressive, pretty impressive. How about that for coincidence, boys and girls? I've seen this. UV protection oil on on the this chap's um, table here, and it's the same name as my camera, the DJI Osmo Pocket Camera, which I'm filming this sequence on. That's great. Interesting. Thanks for your time, sir. Cheers. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for your skill too. Great. So now I'm entering into the main hall, and we'll just have a look around all the stalls there.
Just give you a little look around the whole hall before I continue. And the first thing I'm going to do is go and get myself a cup of tea and then I'll walk you around the rest of these lovely stalls. Okay, see you in a minute. So I've stopped for a much needed cup of tea. I'll get that down me and then I'll uh, take you around the rest. So this is the event I'm attending. And I'll put the Facebook link in the description below. Well, that's my thirst satisfied, so uh, let's get on with it. See what we got. Turbo knitting, I call that. I used to, I, I was stationed in Hong Kong with the British Army, and uh, wherever you went, the Gurkha wives were there, and they would knit and knit and knit and crochet, you know, do all sorts of stuff, yeah. That's all they would do, because it was the only place where Gurkhas were uh, allowed to have their families. Hong Kong, yeah. But that's, I think that's all changed now. Yeah. So, what, Claire's Crafts, Yogi, Yogi Claire's Crafts. Have you got a Facebook page? I have, yes, it's online. Oh, card, we've got a card, boys and girls. There you go. You should see that a bit better now. I'll put all the details in the description below and I'll leave these ladies to their really expert crocheting. Nice work, lovely work. Ah, what have we here? Oh, these are nice. And what's the, what's the name of this enterprise, ma'am? I've got your back lit. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's better. Huh? In my view. That's a great name. Do you have a Facebook page or anything? Uh, well, not for this at the moment. I've only just started doing it. Oh, right. Well, it's lovely work. Thank you. They're all my own photos. So you take the photo. Oh, Penny Lane. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, it's really lovely work. I like that shabby cheek. That's gorgeous. That's a shed in um, Sefton Park. Alone. Is it really? Yeah. How lovely. Old doors. Old doors. Oh wow! That's enterprise, isn't it? You've really got an eye. That describes me when I'm driving my taxi. That's this front door at Boston. Wow! I love photography myself, but I, I usually do macro photographs of, of flowers and things. But to, to see, uh, to see, I mean, that's gone now, isn't it? This pier, yeah. That's the pier at uh, Colwyn Bay, right? So that's a piece of uh, history now. As far as last year is concerned, that was ended, wasn't it? Yeah. What format are you using to photograph them? It's just my little compact camera. Yeah. Sometimes I use my phone. Yeah. Um, I'm not, yeah I, I'm not a fussy photographer. Really. I keep saying, because I like to cook, I've got a cookery channel on YouTube. And, I, and people always go on about gadgets. It's not about the gadget, is it? It's really about... It's how you use it. Yeah, it's how you use it. It's, you know, if you can take wonderful pictures like this with a pretty ordinary Instamatic camera. And boom. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah, totally agree. And your, sorry, your name is again? Jude. Jude. Okay, excellent. Right, this adjacent stall is called Candles for Home, and the details are as you see there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Right. But doesn't sell candles, okay. That works. Wax melts, gift sets, electric wax warmers. Oh, so it's 
All right, okay. This. In a sense, I'm a retailer because the wax is a handmade, still in mid Wales. Yeah. Oh, right, I got you now. Yeah. The lamps are made of rose, but each shade is hand done. Yeah. So, in a sense, they're still pressed as a craft. Super. No two lamps is exact. They are very pretty. Oh wow! Yeah. All oh, right. So you you can well you can do or you can brighten the room but the higher the the more light you've got yeah. the more the quicker you're using the fragrance up in a sense the more of the smell you get you know? yeah 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 whereas if you want it in the low just a nice subtle sense and that way the last longer so, so I presume the scent goes in that little yeah, fluted yeah. bowl on top off, you've got a standalone lamp yeah yeah sure put that on and you've got a wax warmer yeah that's pretty impressive they are sold as wax warmers but uh, and they say they come with a well like it's a 50 watt halogen bulb which is replaceable. If you break the plastic, that is also replaceable as well. So it's not, if you break anything. And you're on, you're on Facebook? I'm on Facebook, yeah. And it's, or you can, there you go, look, you've got, all the details will be in the description below. Have you got a card? I only use the flyer. Just this flyer, yeah? My details are in the back. That's great, thanks. Well, the gardener as well, you see. I'm self-employed in the garden. All right. <laughs> I've been a gardener for 30 years, so... And what are these wax beans? For... The wax, magic, what they call magic beans. Yeah. And they just get dropped into the warmers. Yeah, you put two or three to start with, and yeah. then you just keep adding. Yeah, have a sniff. Oh, wow, boys and girls, that smells like, that smells like some sweets I used to eat as a boy. What's it called? Strudel and Spice. <laughs> Without the custard. Yeah. Oh, these are called Willow and Ash. Willow and Ash. And uh, again, the details will be in the description below the video. And it looks like these two ladies are running it very nice work lovely and all, all crafted by yourselves not all of it this this yeah. fountain is done by a charity all right in nepal and right all the proceeds go back into a cooperative to support education so we help to purchase these and then we personalize them oh my my friends just come back from nepal so yeah but anything I, else on here we do when we personalize anything I recognise the felt because we used to we used to buy things like made of Gurkha uh, in the Gurkha shops in, in, in Hong Kong. Yeah, I was a soldier out there. So. And the, a lot, the, the, they used to make these padded jackets out of this felt and all sorts of things. You just, if you go to festivals in the in Britain, you'll see the hippies walking around wearing it. It's kind of cool, you know. <laughs> we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff. Oh look, so that's a like a, a cushion pillow. You can put a little reader book in. Like that, and they're lovely. They are really like that idea. All good, thank you. So this stall. Oh look, there's a very handsome chappy with a camera. Uh, this stall is run by um, a lady called Lynn Middleton. And she makes all this stuff from beach combing and driftwood. So that's 
really in th this is what I call upcycling you take something that has little or no value and turn it into something beautiful I love that that is great and there she is there in the mirror <laughs> So if you want to look on Facebook, and it's Lynn Middleton, and that's uh, L-I-N, Middleton as in Kate. And you'll find Lynn, and presumably you'll find her listings of where she'll next be appearing. So, beautiful stuff, Lynn. Thank you. Cheers now. Some great ideas on this one. You know that game we used to play? What was that game? Calon Lan. My heart, your heart. Give the horse a spin, let this gentleman see how it works. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's, uh, you see, uh, that's, oh, better, that's lovely! Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not difficult, is it? Is that all you're asking for that? £20? Yes. That's incredible. This is on BBC Two News tonight. Best bit of that news. <laughs> and this is Elfed Blethin. Blythin. Elfed Blethin. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get that in sharp focus for you. It's not going to happen. Uh, it's got it. I'll put that in the card and put it in the description below. Lovely work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Did you see that, boys and girls? Let's, let's do that again. Hold on, are you ready? What are you asking for that table? 60 pounds. That's lovely. And solid oak, that. And really handy, too. And there's no veneer here. No, no, I can like see. No veneer here. No veneer here. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That's lovely. Yeah. El Elved Blithin. Proud to be Welsh. Right, this uh, stall is run by Graham and Mandy Kennedy, and here's Graham. He's happy to tell us a few things about it. What do you do, Graham? I do laser engraved signs and various craft products. And you, and you do what the sign signage is all done with laser? It's all done by a laser machine. Oh, excellent. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all done by laser. All homemade. So let's have a quick look at uh, some of the work he does. And you can see, look, look at the detail on the... If you use my finger, and really the detail on that is really amazing. Are these cut by laser, these They're ones? Cut by laser, yeah. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Oh, I love spoons, <laughs> Welsh spoons. There's a tradition in Wales of um, a young man would give his sweetheart a hand-carved spoon, a love spoon. And that dates back a couple of hundred years at least. Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> Family tree, look. Do you have a card, sir? I have got a card. There we go. Excellent. Also acts as a fridge magnet, so. Oh, wow. So you can't lose it or throw it away. Oh, top marks for that <laughs> idea. Kennedy Creations, there you go. And that's his email there, kennedycreations at hotmail.co.uk. 
And do you have a Facebook page or uh, uh, are you? Uh, I think it's all. Li- I don't know how the wife does all the Facebook parts. Oh, okay. All right. Facebook. All right. Well, you can go on Facebook. It's on Facebook. But there's a website anyway, and I suppose any Facebook links will be off yes. that website. So, yeah. KennedyCreations.co.uk. So there you are. All these will be in the description below the video. So there you go. I'll give you another look round the store. The lady just made an announcement there'll be a raffle in 10 minutes. So presumably that's a, a charity raffle. That's nice. Garlic. I must say that's the first time I've been given a, a laser carved business card, but I'm extremely impressed. So this stall is called Cheese To Go, and you can try before you buy. And there's lots of little, oh, these are nice. They're, so the wax encased, Cheeses. Do you do all this yourself? No, we don't. We buy, we buy from small businesses. Ah, right. Okay. So we bring them in. Retailer yeah. for the little guys. Yeah. Hi guys. Hi. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to try something then. What's? Uh, is that a smoked cheddar? Yeah, it's this. I'm going to try smoked cheddar, boys and girls. Oh, that's nice. horseradish so that's like a wasabi cheese boys and girls horseradish mm. caramelized heaven that that looks like like a danish cheese i've tried it's caramelized red onion this is intriguing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You asked him what he's doing. YouTube channel. Mm. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, they do videos mm. for YouTube. My husband does them all sorts of things. YouTubers. I think I'm thinking for the onion and garlic would make a nice toasted sandwich. This one is called Scorpion. I'm going to find out about that because is that Trinidad Maruga scorpion? It's re- very, very red hot chili chili cheese. It's what we call our chili challenge cheese. So people are welcome to come down to our stall and try a chili challenge. We work if they go on the Facebook page, they can come. We're all around the north coast. We travel North Wales, North mm, West. That's pretty volcanic. Yeah. That's really nice though. Oh, you got one called volcano as well. Yeah. All right. I think I've gone for the hottest already, but that's full of flavour. And is it, that's Maruga scorpions no, in there, right? A mixture of arbol peppers. Yeah. A little bit of ghost chilli. Yeah. A bit of chilli powder. Yeah. Tired of scorpion chilli. So. Wow. And this one's called volcanic. Volcano. That's a similar mix, but you get a different hit. Yeah. So whereas with the scorpion, it builds slowly. The volcano will. You'll get the cheese first, and then you'll get an explosion of the peppers. That's how it's more. It's nice. Of the two, I prefer the scorpion. Mm, I love that one. That is not for lightweights. Um, I have a pretty strong connection with Trinidad. In fact, I've, I've done two two visits for Trinidad so far, and um, so looking at a scorpion cheese, it just has to be done, doesn't it? It just has to be done. So those of you who know me, boys and girls, you'll know that I like that kind of thing a lot. Right, I've got to pay this lady for this cheese and then we'll move on to the next. Right, these two lovely ladies are on this store. Oh, look, fairies. These are 
Screen printed. Screen printed, and and, and, printed. and they're, they're lovely natural what canvas bags. Canvas, yes. Canvas bags. Yes. So super strong bags, beautifully made. Do you do, you do the sewing yourself, or do you no, buy these no, in? I bought these in. Yeah. They're from a UK company. Yeah. Are very ethical in, in sourcing their bags and where they buy them from. It's nice. They're this lovely calico colour and strong canvas. Yeah. Really nice bags. And what? Tell me about these hedgehogs then. What right. are these all about? Um, I do book folding, but I tend to recycle old books. Yes. So rather than end up in landfill, um, I resurrect them. So if covers have fallen or anything like that, I use them to my best. So these are made with little diaries. So our old mini Oxford dictionaries. Oh yeah. Little gem theorists. The little gem books. Yeah. Little gem books. I just recycled into a decoration. Lovely. Have you, have you a card, a business card, or a Facebook um, page we can... Unfortunately not. I am building a Facebook page. All right. And it will be Welsh Rose, uh, yeah. Welsh Rose Crafts by Janet. Welsh Rose Crafts by Janet. Yeah. Okay, you heard that, and you heard it here first, boys and girls. Um, and I also do recycling with books. So, again, book folds. That's lovely. Um, so, and... That, this was one of, this is just a display model, but this is a fairy house which I made. That's lovely. Book. Pixie house, look. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? That's wonderful. So, um, yeah, um, and I started screen printing again. This is local um, sourced UK wood, birch. What? Lovely um, birch wood, yeah. Birch wood, um, so very strong also. wood, then, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. Um, varnished to protect. Yeah. Marks. I try. I'm trying to stick with UK-based companies when it comes to my products. Um, the inks I use are uh, drain, uh, drain safe. Right. My painting on my bags. Again, everything's. Uh, the aim is to be as clean and um, environmentally friendly. Whoever buys this can say, I'll pack a lot in this bag. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I try and buy as much as I can from UK companies and use UK designers uh, uh, products. Um, so, the company I purchase this off, they have their own in-house designers. Uh, oh. And they allow us to use their screen prints to create and sell uh, for charity or for personal use. Uh, profit to uh, fund our crafting habits. Oh, that's lovely. It's really nice. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. AC Crafts, that, this, this is Alison from Alison Curran Crafts, right? Yeah. And uh, tell, us, tell us about yourself and what you do. Well, I started crafting yeah. and decided that I had to stop crafting or find an outlet for it, so I started doing craft fairs 18 months ago. Oh, so. right. <laughs> I've made a few of these myself from yeah. Paracord. They're rather yeah. fun, aren't they? Go from the Paracord, we've got the charms, Novelty earrings, down through to your genuine gemstones, your sterling silver, gold plated, gambit, girls. Can I take one of your cards, yeah. Alison? Absolutely anything for everybody. <laughs> so let's get this on. This is Alison. And get that in focus for you. Do you have a Facebook page? or? I do. Um, use Facebook under ACC Crafts. It's not fully established yet, but it's slowly building up. Okay, so there you go, ACC Crafts on Facebook. Again, all the details will be in the description below. All right, this lovely lady is Leslie Evans, and Leslie has been kind enough to help me with my battery charging because she's got this amazing gizmo down here that's charging my. So this is why. I'm, the camera uh, is not quite as steady at the moment because I'm not using the DJI Osmo Pocket. I'm using my uh, mobile phone camera at the moment because that's still got some oomph left in it. And so, Leslie is Tree B. Leslie Evans from Tree B. And again, the uh, all the details are in the description. 
and there's some beautiful handmade soaps. Do you make the soaps yourself? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I do a bit of soap making, but my brother's got psoriasis. I just make uh, chamomile, comfrey, and um, calendula. Oh, uh, really very soap. plain soap, just for his, because it, it, I, I, I just make it a simple um, uh, Bastille soap, you know, very simple Bastille. I don't scent it or anything, I just put in those. No, I use um, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, castor oil, and I like add the essential Castor gives it nice bubbles, yeah, yeah it lovely, does. isn't it? It does, and I make all the bath salts and the um, aromatherapy products as well. Oh, wow, so you do all these? Yeah. I do, do you, um, what's the name? Um, La Fille de la Mer, she's got a YouTube channel. Um, Ariane Arsenal from Canada well worth looking at yeah she's she does it on a more industrial scale but she she does all this kind of thing yeah check her out ariane if you if you if you look for soap making you know there's soap making 101 which everyone's seen but the, this girl will pop up she's she's lives in the madeline islands in quebec yeah she's fantastic <laughs> But my husband makes all the leather journals and the notebooks. They're nice, yeah, they're lovely, yeah. And makes them all, they're all made from upcycled paper. Um, from so upcycled paper, lovely. Yes, they come from a paper mill in Warrington that was closing down. Yeah. So my husband, being as he is, the magpie he is, he just picked them all up and brought it home. Oh, super, that's yeah. grand. So he makes all the, the, all the journals and the books with it. Well, it's good, I'm, I'm all for upcycling. and. Uh, anything like that that's really good i really like the soap i like the way you you package them as well that's really nice uh, you know I, I like that that's kind of rustic and nice i love the way you cut that it's given me some ideas for my own soap now that's really super um so there you are that's leslie evans a very nice kind and generous lady too thank you cheers all right so this stall is run by a lady called Pamela Stevenson and the details are there sentwiththanks.co.uk or Facebook page sent with thanks I think you're getting the message now or you can phone her on that number right there details in the description below and what took my eye was these soaps with all these lions and doggies and all sorts in them and crafted soaps <laughs> and some nice little candles all sorts a little candle in a teacup how pretty is that uh, Even little baby clothes there, look, how about that? Oh, look at that. Oh. These them are amazing. Them are salt pigs. The salt, yeah, they're salt, salts, yeah. Salt pigs. They're fabulous. That's what they used to call them in the old days. Look at that. Oh. Such beautiful work. Look at that, like filigree. Right, this is Wendy Griffiths ceramic artist and this video is attestation to that artistry and that's the details you need the details will also be in the description below the video but i'm enchanted by this stand this is amazing don't do very much ah oh. we go out occasionally yeah. look at that this is a lan lantern, yeah, a lamp. It's a lamp, yeah. 
So, how many years does it take to be this good at what you do? About 40. About 40. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say there's a good 300 years of skill in there. Never, never had a lesson. Never had a lesson. I mean, look at the face. That's just... Sorry, boys and girls. I'm absolutely stunned by this. I am absolutely stunned. Look at the detail on that. I mean, you can all, almost feel that blowing in the wind, look. That is... No, it's incredible. There you are. You, if you come to this craft fair and find these, this lovely couple, or if you phone them up, you can buy something as wonderful as that for under forty pounds. I am. What do you accept in payment? Just cash. Yes. Yeah. Just cash. Um. Have you filmed the big bars in the corner? I have. I'm just amazed by it. It's just. Um. Can I can I place that on order for myself and uh, and, and phone and phone you to pay you? Yeah, because I, I want that. I've got to own that. I've got to take that into my possession. <laughs> and what would you be asking for that tall vase? Ah, that's, um, what's it got on it? Uh, the price on it, yeah. The price on it 49? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 can I reserve that as well? Thank you, that and that. Where do you live? In Hill. I am. We're in Collins I'm Key. speechless. I really am. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Not this, not this century, anyway. Well, boys and girls, I've, I've decided I'm buying that beautiful vase there because I'm breathtaking by that, and I'm sure anyone watching is going to have the same opinion of it. And also this wonderful bowl. I, I, the detail on that is amazing with the great the grapevine leaves. And look at these handles made from vine, twisted like a vine. It's um, divine, I would say. I also love these salts, but I have no place to put that. incredible all right i think that's a high note on which i'm going to end this video boys and girls and uh, thanks for watching If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.